Now these are the LED shop lights that I'm using out in the hut by Fleet Electric. 38 watts, 3700 lumens. Costco had them on sale, so it was the way to go. Okay, here's a few things about the LED lights. The LEDs are all individually mounted on circuit board strip and inside each tube facing out and LEDs only shine out. No light shines back. This reflector is mostly a cosmetic thing since all the hanging and anchoring actually happens on the plastic and nothing happens on this. So this piece of metal in my case because I want a flush mount 15 foot up. I don't want to have to deal with measuring exactly right in order to get into their little hook holes and I can't use the hang chains because I'm flush mounting. It's going to be easier to hold these up and do it all by myself if that metal's not on there since it doesn't do anything. It basically just makes them look like a shop light. But as far as being functional, they're not, it's not. So this is your, your tubes. This is the side that the LED light shines through and this is the side that's solid white opaque nothing can come through because there isn't any light there anyway so you don't need this heavy piece of steel so construction wise all of the electronics circuit board is down on this end that powers the strips of LEDs there is no wiring whatsoever or anything down here this is just a plastic block so since I'm mounting flush way up in the air and have to hold this thing literally this thing you can just that's my little finger it weighs ounces there's just no weight so you can hold that up there really easy Anyway, I just go ahead and I drill through this one hole all the way through to here and put in a two and a half inch long drywall screw. And on this end, on the inside, there's in between the switch and the power cord, as close out to this edge as you can get, there's no electronic. It's all forward and all the wiring is forward. That's virgin territory. So again, I drill my hole there. That way I can just squirt up two drywall screws in my case, hold them right up there. So here are the end caps off that one end. Like I say, there's nothing there. You can just see the where the strips of LEDs are sitting there. This is the back side. Front side's aiming down right now. And here's the circuit board. So you can see you got virgin plastic territory right there for running the screw in, as you would over in either one of the sides if you needed to. Just four screws hold the back covers on. But this leads to another hack that a person can do, and that would be to take one of these tubes all you'd have to do is extend these two wires and you could stick this other tube somewhere else. In my case I want to put some lighting under some hanging shelves uh, with like one strip going one direction and one strip going out the other so I can cover an eight foot area with light. So here are the lights separated Just by adding the one one wire and salvaging what's the end of the blocks to help hold the lights in place. I'll put that up under my cabinet and I'll have more than an eight foot spread of light under my cabinet. There it is with the power off so you can see it better. So here's the uh, hanging shelf that I want to put the lights under to illuminate everything underneath that one modified uh, LED strip and I'll hit the power and we'll see how it looks. And here it is with the uh, LED strip on. Lights it up pretty good. Here's the difference between fluorescent lights and the LED lights. Over in this end of the room, those are uh, dual 40 watt tubes. And on this end of the room, it's your dual LED tubes. Each one of these lighting fixtures with the two tubes draws one, almost one amp with the electronic ballast. Each one of these only draws 390 milliamps, so about one third, one third the power puts out more light. Doesn't hum, will come on at any temperature, don't get hot, weigh a lot less. If they just last, it'll be a good investment. Got the big ladder out so I can replace those last ones.
Okay, well, I only have a few more lights to change eventually. I've got some uh, quartz lights under this hanger that need to come out, and I've got a quartz light clear back up there, and a spot quartz up here. But other than that, everything is LED and so much brighter than before. And the whole building is drawing one third as much power. Now we'll see how long they last. <laughs>